All right, our next task is, or our next little problem here is combine these, again, combine into a single logarithm. You'll notice here I have natural log. So remember, this is the same thing as log base E, it's just LN is the shorthand for log base E, this is the natural log. So what do we have here? Uh, we have natural log of the third root of X minus two natural log of X. Now, logarithms and exponentials, they don't play well with radicals. We should rewrite this in exponential form. So rewrite in exponential form. Before you do any, any computation, any properties at all, rewrite this in exponential form. We know that third root, third root is one third power. And now we're off to the races because now we're on the same procedure as before. Uh, we want to try to combine these using property two. The problem is this coefficient's in the way. Well, now we know how to handle that. If there's a coefficient in the way, you get rid of it using property three, actually going from right to left. So you can stow this exponent up in the, uh, up in the, uh, sorry, stow this coefficient as an exponent. So we can rewrite, do nothing here. But now this can be rewritten as natural log of, this is x to the second power. And I'm going to write that, I'm just going to rewrite this so I can see it better. And x quantity to the second power is x squared. Had there been other values here, you would, x, you would square those as well, but there weren't. And now we're applying property number two. All right? Property two says this now becomes one great big gargantuan logarithm. And this is positive, so this goes in the numerator. This log is negative, so this argument goes in denominator. And then uh, now the last piece is you may actually combine these because they're both x raised to a power. Remember, when you divide the exponents, when you divide the bases, you subtract the exponents. When you divide the bases, you subtract the exponents. So I need 2 minus 1 third. That's 6 thirds minus 1 third. That's natural log of 1 over x to the 5 thirds. Now there's a lot going on there and it seems kind of cryptic, but it's straightforward. Uh, rewrite using uh, exponential form. Apply the property number 3. I just rewrote this thing so it looked nicer. Uh, when you subtract the logarithms, that's the log of the quotient. And then when you divide the base, you subtract the exponents. So uh, there are several problems like that you'll encounter. Anytime you have radicals, that's what you do. First change to exponential form, and then fractions are people too.